here, Almighty God. I pray fervently for healing to all affected by this deadly virus. Lord, you are the only source of healing, and only you can move in a mighty way and do the impossible for them. I pray for all negative outcomes be resolved by your healing hands. Please uncover each and every single person and bring whole healing to their bodies from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. O oh Lord, I am in need of your guidance and direction. You said your word would be a lamp to my feet. You promised that you would show me which way to walk. And you promised that a spirit of truth would help me to discern the path to righteousness. So I declare your word to be true, Father. I declare that you are the promise keeper that never goes back on your word. I ask to hear your voice so clearly on the next steps and decisions that I need to be. I thank you, Father, because your power enables me to stand strong as I wait for you to move on my behalf. Lord, I come to you as your child and bless you for bringing me into your family and setting my feet on the solid ground of Christ Jesus my Lord. O oh Lord, my place of work is becoming so very difficult as there are many that are picking on me almost to the point of persecution simply because I am a Christian. Lord, I know that we are to count it all joy when we are placed in difficult situations and trials of various kinds. But at times it becomes so hard and I pray that in your strength I will be able to stand firm on my faith in you and remain a true and faithful witness to the truth of the gospel. Lord, I pray that you would use me even in this difficult situation to share the truth with my colleagues and that I would not say or do anything that would discredit your holy name. I pray that your Holy Spirit would soften the hearts of my colleagues towards the Lord Jesus Christ, convict them of their need of a Savior, and bring them at last to saving faith in you. Thank you that you died for me and rose again, and I cast all my care upon you. Holy Spirit, we ask that you guide people in their new realities and provide mental health care to those who need it. Allow struggling people to give themselves permission to find help. Prompt worn out parents to speak words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help children and youth find creative ways to talk with loved ones about their fears and anxieties. Be very present to those who are still isolated from life-giving community. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Us and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For every was receives. The one who seeks finds. Unto the one who knocks, the door will be open.